What we have here is eight military engines. I have six 35 horsepowers and I have two 55 horsepowers. The goal is to get as many of these running as possible and we're gonna start off with the big 55 horsepower first. I'm gonna do a quick visual inspection and the first thing I can see is that the tiller handle right here is busted but I do have a parts motor. I am gonna hook up a battery to it, spin it over and let's see if we have good compression on this engine. So I have the battery connected and I pushed a button on the electric start and nothing happens. It's looking like maybe the wire might be corroded somewhere or that push button, but before I even mess with that, I just wanna make sure that I do have even compression. I'm just gonna jump the solenoid and we'll see what the compression's at. It is at 150 PSI. We have even compression on the top and bottom cylinder. I'm gonna get a wire brush and I'm going to clean all of these posts on the starting solenoid. So I have everything connected, everything's all clean, all the connections, and now it finally works. Check this out. that's the new tiller handle that's gonna go in here. So I just finished installing the tiller handle and everything works, everything's connected. Whoever serves this lower unit, put this on backwards. This is supposed to be on the bottom. It has a magnet so it catches all the metal shavings and stuff, but it was up top. After a couple minutes, I tuned the carbs and uh, checked this out. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move along to the next engine. This is a 35 horsepower. Whoever worked on it before, it says good motor, but it says uh, no neutrals. First thing we'll do is I'll do a compression check and make sure there's spark. If that checks out, we'll try to start it and maybe we could fix that lower unit issue. It's reading 105 PSI. And this one is reading 125 PSI. The rings could be sticking, so I'm gonna get the motor running. This motor actually runs pretty good. Started second or third pull, I think. I don't know why it said that it doesn't have neutral because it has neutral forward and reverse. So maybe someone already fixed that, but I'm just gonna pull the top uh, spark plug out and recheck that compression. The top cylinder came up to 110 and the bottom one dropped to 110, which is really good. They are even. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that carburetor off. This is loose down here, actually. So you can see it's turning the bolt down there and it looks like we have fuel dripping from that. This clamp is not moving at all. That's completely frozen. Look how easy it is to turn this now. It looks really clean. going to go ahead and I'm going to drain the gear fluid out of the gear case and if you guys are wondering why I'm not doing the impeller and spark plugs right now and that is because I want to make one big trip to the store it's not milky which is a good sign here is another engine it's saying that it skips maybe something's wrong with the lower unit or maybe it's popping misfiring I have no clue but I guess we'll find out looks pretty clean not bad at all the top cylinder is at 135 PSI. Top one is at 140 PSI. Just took the carb off. We're going to take it apart and we're going to throw it in the cleaner. On these military engines, uh, they're designed to be sunk and there's a system that has been removed right here that allows uh, the crankcase to be drained if it's filled with water. 
and someone already disabled that they removed it and look what they did instead of actually taking these hoses off and putting a, a vacuum cap on here they li literally bent the hose and they put a zip tie on here not only does it look a lot cleaner but it's actually gonna work <laughs> by sealing it properly pretty good so uh gonna have to put a new impeller in it it's old but at least there's no milky colorness to it so here's the next engine doesn't look too bad looks like we have a hour meter on here it does not work the battery must have died i just got the carb off the engine and it's pretty dirty on the outside i'm gonna wipe it down before i uh, take it apart and put it in my machine so it could uh, look brand new so we got the carburetor back on, everything's connected, and we're gonna do a first time start and we'll see what happens. I'm looking at this motor right now and I think it's locked up, it even says locked up. We're going to see uh, if it's locked up or not and if it is, maybe we could free it up. So far it's not looking good as you could see. There is rust in the cylinder. I just pulled the carb off of this engine. We're gonna take it apart, get it cleaned up, put it on and um, we'll see what this motor does. You never know. Just because a motor's locked up doesn't mean that it's not a good motor. So let's see what happens. Someone took the fuel connection out of here but we'll pull some parts off of this motor. I'll take this one off and put it on that one. So the carb is on, I already ran the motor. It starts up perfect. It, this thing starts first pull. It's crazy, you know, you find something locked up and you get it running. Check this out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to this engine. So it looks like it's locked up. So just realize uh, that the coils are missing on this. And the spark plugs are already removed. So I'm just going to tilt the engine, spray some stuff in there, and see if we could unfreeze this motor. So for some reason, my camera wasn't recording, but as you could see, it's freed up. And now I'm just trying to see uh, if I could get some parts for this engine. Looks like we're just gonna need some spark plugs and coils. Maybe this motor will be a good running engine. So I got the carb on. Uh, the motor started actually third pull. Pretty amazed. Check this out. This was a locked up motor. And like I said, look at this first pull. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start putting impellers in all of these engines. And we're gonna start off with this uh, 55 horsepower first. finished now I'm just gonna put the boat in the water and test all the motors here is all the impellers that came out of the engines uh, they're not too too bad but the worst one is this one looks like someone probably ran this dry with no water but uh, other than that everything went pretty smooth and uh, we're gonna see how they run so I got the boat in the water and we're gonna do a little water test starting with a 55 horsepower outboard and uh, we'll see how she pushes this boat I've been running this engine for about 15 minutes and it runs really good, no problems, and it pushes this boat pretty good. I just got back to the boat ramp and uh, this engine runs really good, no issues. Uh, it's time to put the boat up and uh, time to try the other engines out. Got the boat in the water. Uh, I have the motor on the back already running. 
it seems like it's running pretty good and uh, that's gonna be the first engine that we test on this boat so hopefully everything goes well So here's the next motor that I put on and uh, we're just gonna do a little test drive with it and see how she does. Here's the next engine. She's running really good. So uh, let's take it for a little spin. So I got the next engine on and it seems like it's running good at idle, but uh, we're gonna see how it does under load. So I got the last motor on the boat and uh, we're gonna see how she performs. This engine has given us some problems. For some reason, um, the primer isn't getting any fuel so I think the float might be sticking and it's not allowing any fuel to get to the carb. So I'm gonna take the carb off really quick and let's take the bolt off and let's see what we have. And there was something in this line that was blocking uh, fuel from getting into this carb, but uh, I just got that out and I just had to put the car back on and this motor should be good to go. So I just got the carb on, it started right up and uh, we're just gonna go for a little test spin. <laughs> motor uh, this one actually pushed his boat pretty good with that prop on it and uh, just time to put the boat up all these motors ran pretty good couldn't be any happier but if you guys enjoy this video please let me know and thanks for watching yeah.